वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एन के अकेडमी आई एम नंदनी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सिंपल फ्यूचर टेंस दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द मॉड्यूल ऑन टेंसेस दिस मॉड्यूल इज प्रिपेयर टू टीच यू ऑल द टेंसेस स्टेप बाई स्टेप सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू यूज दम करेक्टली एंड विद कॉन्फिडेंस विदाउट नोइंग हाउ टू यूज द टेंसेस करेक्टली यू कैन नेवर टू स्पीक करेक्ट इंग्लिश so let's learn simple future tense today if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe to my channel like and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the classes till now we have learned present tense as well as past tense with all their aspects now let's move on to future Just like present tense and past tense, future tense also has four aspects. And what are they? Simple future, which is also known as future simple. Then future continuous, future perfect, and future perfect continuous. The links of the videos on past and present tense are provided in the description section. If you want, you can click them and go through them. Now. Let's get started. As is the practice in this video, I'm going to tell you what is simple future tense, how to form simple future tense, when to use simple future tense, positive sentences, negative sentences, questions questions with wh words and at the end of the video a test the answers of the test will be provided in the description section as is clear from the name this tense is used to talk about all the actions that are going to happen in future they can be things happening 5 minutes from now or 50 years from now there are three ways in which you can talk about future first by using will second by using going to and third by using present continuous let's see the examples i will complete my work tomorrow i'm going to meet the lawyer tomorrow i'm seeing an eye specialist tomorrow in the first sentence i will complete my work tomorrow we are using will to show that the action will take place in future i am going to meet the lawyer tomorrow we are using going to to represent future time and in the third sentence i am seeing an eye specialist tomorrow we are using i am seeing and that is used to show the future reference all right so in these three sentences three different phrases are used and different word is used to express the future time as you have seen first sentence it is will second sentence it is i am going to and third sentence it is i am seeing but in this video we will stick on to only the use of will all right so let's get started okay now let's see how to make sentences in simple future tense the structure is subject plus auxiliary verb plus base form of the verb i will meet i is the subject will is the auxiliary verb meet is the main verb or the verb in the basic form okay now let's see how to use i will you will we will they will he will she will it will rajit will the best part is and the best part and the easiest part is we can use will with all the pronouns and all the proper nouns isn't it easy yes sometimes instead of will we use shall but it's not very common shall is basically used when we give some suggestions or when we give an offer and it is generally used with pronouns i and we for example 
Shall we go to a movie? Shall I help you? Now let's see when to use simple future tense. First situation. As I told you, we use this tense in formal situations. First situation. We use simple future tense in formal situations. For example, the award function will start at 11 a.m. The graduation ceremony will commence at 11 a.m. So these are all the formal situations and in such a situation we use simple future tense. Second situation. Unplanned informal situations. Okay. Even if the situation is informal and it is unplanned, we use simple future tense. For example, as suggested by you, I will buy that book and read. Third, prediction. Making predictions. For example, the fuel price will increase. It will rain tomorrow. The school will remain closed tomorrow. Okay. The fourth situation is expressing willingness. Don't worry, I will complete your work. Okay. Now let's see how to form positive sentences in simple future. The structure is subject plus will plus base form of the verb. Repeat after me so that it will be a good practice for you. I will drive. You will drive. We will drive. They will drive. He will drive. She will drive. It will drive. We can also use the short forms or contractions. And how will we use it? I'll drive. The short form of I will will become I. We are removing W as well as I and we are adding apostrophe. So, I'll drive, you'll drive, we'll drive, they'll drive, he'll drive, she'll drive. Let's see how to make negative sentences and also their contractions. The structure is subject plus will plus not plus base form of the verb. I will not drive. How will we use the contraction? I won't drive. The short form of will not is won't. You will not drive. You won't drive. We will not drive. We won't drive. They will not drive. They won't drive. He will not drive. He won't drive. She will not drive. She won't drive. Okay. Now let's make interrogative sentences or questions. The structure will be auxiliary verb plus subject plus base form of the verb. Will I drive? The answer could be I will or I won't. Will you drive? The answer can be you will or you won't. Shall we drive? Yes, we shall. No, we shan't. The short form of shall not is shan't. Will they drive? Yes, they will. No, they won't. Will she drive? Yes, she will. No, she won't. Will he drive? Yes, he will. No, she won't. Will it drive? Yes, it will. No, it won't. Will Rajit drive? Yes, Rajit will. No, Rajit won't. Haven't I told you? It's very easy. Okay. Now, we can also make questions using the WH words. The structure remains the same. The order remains the same. Only we add WH before the auxiliary verb. When will he come? Where will he go? How will he come? Why will she come? so on and so forth. Let's take a positive sentence in simple future and convert it into different forms of sentences. I will go. 
this is positive i will not go this is negative will i go question when will i go wh word question now let's take a base form of the verb and then change it into different tenses let's see repeat after me it will be a good practice for you i write which tense is this simple present i am writing it is present continuous i have written which tense is this yes present perfect tense i have been writing tell me which tense is this correct this is present perfect continuous tense i wrote simple past i was writing tell me past continuous tense very good i had written past perfect i had been writing past perfect continuous i will write this is simple future tense that's all about future tense isn't it simple yes it's very simple now this is the time for the test so take the test and check your answers first sentence prina there is someone at the door rahul i dash go and see rajit i am moving house next week sing i dash come and help you if she clears the interview she dash very happy i dash there at 4 o'clock i promise a i am cold i dash on the fire she is late she is late don't worry she dash come the function dash take place at 6 pm 9th if you eat all that pudding you dash sick they dash at the station at 10 o'clock the main verbs are given in the brackets so use the correct form to form simple future tense so that's a test hope you have understood how to use and when to use simple future tense in the next video we will be learning future continuous tense thanks for being with me till the end of the video it means a lot to me goodbye and see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe my channel and like and also click the bell icon if you find this video useful please share with your friends because when you share you grow goodbye see you soon stay blessed and stay happy